just the way it happened. I don't rue the past because it happened. However, I will learn from it. Or at least try to, as the old maxim goes. We can't change it, of course. But over the years, I see many who think they somehow can. Or look at it with disdain, as if the tragedies of the past are terrible for us now. And the world would be so much nicer if things had happened differently. But would they? I'm sure everyone by now has heard of the butterfly effect. Change one or a few things in the stream of time, and the future will unfold differently. So going by that, all the evil events that occurred in the past had to happen exactly the way they did for us to be here alive today. I don't know many people who would be willing to give up their lives for an uncertain future that had unfolded differently. I'm grateful for how time has unfolded in the past. Any little change and I would not have been born. My parents would have never met. And even if they did, maybe when they made love, that one time I was created might have happened differently, just ever so. And my mother would have given birth to another David. All because a different sperm would have fertilized her ovum, given me a slightly different genetic makeup. From then on, every other event would have unfolded differently. Everything would most likely be different. A different life for a different me indeed. So yeah, as for the ungratefuls, or those who somehow cannot perceive the bigger picture, there is no use crying over spilt milk, especially that of the deep and deeper past. For better or worse, things happen just as they had to to make this reality in the great cause and effect flow of time. The future, unknown the further we look into it, will take care of itself. To be sure, we humans will play our role in whatever happens until we, as every other species does, runs our course to eventual extinction. And I guess you could call that part and parcel to the great mystery of life and existence. But I'm certainly not going to waste my days hating things and events that I can never have control over, whether they be past, present, or future. Instead, I'll watch with fascination this great, never-ending unfolding of time. I'll humbly play my bit part in it and bow out ungracefully when my time on the stage ends, grateful that I can be the small, organic collection of atoms that can look into the unimaginably vast night sky with wonder and ponder why and how it's all happening. Have a good night.